family. So this video is going to be a leg and abs workout, as the title says, but I just wanted to start off this video actually um, with a little bit of thought about the new year. So it is almost 2016. It's near the end of the year, and so I'm starting to think about goals for next year, and probably many of you are as well. Um, thinking about weight loss goals, thinking about things you want to achieve. So as you start to think through your fitness, your weight loss goals, um, any other physical goals that you have for the next year, uh, I would really encourage you to take some time and think specifically about what you want to achieve. So I would just take some time to think through what do you want to accomplish this year, um, or even just in the next maybe six months, what's something that you would like to achieve, and write down a specific goal. Maybe it's lose 15 pounds, not lose weight, lose 15 pounds or lose 10 pounds, come up with a specific number. Um, or maybe it's not thinking about losing weight because that might be too stressful. Maybe it's, you know what, I want to run a mile. Maybe you've never run a mile straight. Or maybe it's, I want to, uh, I want to gain two pounds of muscle. Um, or I want to see my abs or come up with something specific um, so that you have a specific goal to work towards and can really focus on that for the next few months. Uh, and then as you put that in place, then start to think through how are you going to do that. I strongly suggest coming up with an action plan um, to figure out how you're going to get there. Um, to write out what you're going to eat or how many workouts a week you're going to do. And maybe you need to go and talk to a trainer. Um, maybe you need to work with a personal trainer. Talk to someone who's experienced who can say, you know what, if your goal is to lose 10 pounds, then you need to be in the gym two to three times a week working out with weights. You need to be in the gym at least twice a week doing cardio. And you need to be eating this amount of calories. So you want to specifically think through what are you going to do. And not just even weights, not just oh, I'm going to go to the gym and use weights, but what are you going to do when you're there? Um, not that you have to plan out every single workout, but it is helpful to think through, you know, I'm going to have one leg day a week and one chest and back day a week, or I'm going to do three days of circuit training a week. Come up with a specific plan for yourself, and if you need help with that, please contact me. I would love to help. I do both online training and in-person training if you live in West LA. And then I would also encourage you to look back at this last year. So over 2015, you might want to take some time to really look at what goals you had um, and what you would have maybe liked to achieve. And if you're not at your goals yet, why not? Um, so it's a little bit harder part of the process um, because if you don't deal with what's preventing you from reaching your goals and what stopped you so far, then just having a new goal probably isn't going to get you there. So a lot of my theory is um, renew your strength. My, my company is called Renewal Fitness Coaching, and a lot of that has to do with renewing your mind, renewing your thought process, working through emotions, working through different things that are hindering you from progress. Uh, so I would really take some time to say what's maybe been stopping you from getting to the gym. Uh, is it time? Is it other people? Is it laziness? Is it not making room for it? Um, is it emotional issues or is it fear of being around a bunch of people and not knowing what you're doing? There could be a lot of different reasons or the same could apply to food, why you're not eating enough or why you're eating too much or why you struggle so much with certain foods. I would really take some time to just sit and think and journal out what's been stopping you because until you address those things it's going to be really hard to move forward with your new goals so you have to understand what's stopping you so that you can make effective changes in this next year um, so i would really take some time to renew your mind to look at what's been preventing you to think about what goals you have and to think about why you have them that's another important step is think about why you want to achieve these goals what's important to you about it is it really just about losing weight or is it about getting into a relationship and feeling attractive to the opposite sex? Or is it having energy to do things that you don't have to do right now? Maybe you want to engage in more activities and you just aren't physically there. Maybe it's staying around long enough for your kids to have a healthy, happy, long life to be there for your family. Um, there's usually much deeper goals than just you know, losing a few pounds. So 
take some time too to jot down those things and figure out why you have these goals so that when you're lacking motivation and when you're tired and when it gets hard and when life gets in the way, you can look back at those things and remember why they're important to keep you going when the motivation is not there. Because your motivation that you have on January 1st is not gonna last all year. I can pretty much guarantee that. So you need to understand what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it and set up a routine for yourself. Um, I would love to help you with that. If I do online coaching, no matter where you live, I can help with that. And that is my favorite part is not just showing you workouts um, like this video will have or telling you what to do, but spending time trying to figure out what hasn't worked and how we can get you uh, to succeed and to reach your goals that you haven't been able to reach yet and to just be there as encouragement and accountability to help you along the way. Let's encourage you when things are hard or to be there to celebrate your successes when you have them. Um, so please email me. I'll put my contact info at the end of this video so that you can reach out to me. Um, I'd love to help. I also do in-person training in the West LA area. Um, so please let me know if you would like to get started with personal training. So with that being said, uh, I will say good luck with your New Year's resolutions, um, and I hope that you can achieve all of your goals this year. And the rest of this video is just going to be a legs and ab workout, a little bit more of a hamstring and glute focus. Uh, this is a compilation of two workouts that I did. Um, so there are two exercises I will just note. There is a deadlift and a squat in this video. I would suggest choosing one of those and then doing the other exercises. Those are two very big, heavy compound exercises that can take a lot out of your body. So I would suggest just do one or the other on one day and then you can do another later in the week. Um, and you may just wanna pick and choose a few of these exercises because there are several in this video. Um, but there's lots for you to choose from and a lot of these are kind of uh, fine tuning exercises and things that help you to activate your glutes and that's very important because when you're working out your legs most people are dominant in their quadriceps which is the front of your thigh um, and so a lot of people have weak glutes which can also cause lower back pain and uh, knee issues. I mean, if you have imbalances in your muscles, it can cause all kinds of other issues in your body. Um, so a lot of these are going to be focused on activating your glute muscles, especially the warm-up section. I have two exercises in there that are simply meant to warm up your legs, but specifically to activate your glutes so that when you're doing the bigger exercises, you're using all of the muscles that you should be and not overcompensating with something like your quadriceps when you should be using your hamstrings or your glutes. So um, but many of these are just going to help you to kind of tone up and build your glutes and your hamstrings and there's some abs in there for you at the end too. Uh, if you have any questions on any of these exercises or on meal plans or on training or anything else, please let me know. I'm here to help and would love to answer those questions for you. So uh, I hope you had a Merry Christmas and I hope you have an amazing New Year and good luck with your fitness goals. So these two exercises are part of a warm-up and they will help to make sure that you're activating your glutes properly. So make sure when you do these that you really think about squeezing your glute muscles, not your hamstrings, not your quads. Um, the second one really puts you in a position where it takes your back muscles out of it. It's very hard. You won't be able to lift your leg very high, but all you're doing is lifting it as much as you can, take it right back down to the floor back up again. Both of these just make sure that you're squeezing and concentrating on the glute working and no other muscles.